Hi, this is Steven Kravis, and this is a quick demo of one of my favorite uh, audio plugins um, for that can be used with Logic and many other digital audio workstations. And um, the plugin is called MCDSP ML4000. So um, this demo, by the way, it features um, the song "I'd Rather Die Believe In," which was written by lyrics by Larry McKenzie and music by Adrian Z. So here's the tune by itself. And this is sort of an unmastered mix uh, that I'm using just for demo purposes here. I only see you when my eyes are closed. Now, um, what I'm going to do is, um, first of all, um, this doesn't necessarily need to be done, but I'm going to add s some overall um, subtle reverb to the whole mix, but I'll do that later. For now, to demonstrate this plugin called MCDSP ML4000, I'm choosing the one that says ML4, not the ML1. And it's called the ML4 because of these four bands of EQ and it's kind of an overall com um, multi-band compressor um, and it does many different things but I'm going to just demonstrate something pretty simple. Um, first of all, just using a uh, mastering preset, for example, mastering with uh, pop rock, I'm just putting that on as one of the presets. So when I play it, um, without this on it sounds like this. And with it, it sounds like this. I reach out to you and time stands still. I hear your voice and pretend it's real. So, um, right away, you can hear a big difference with it. Um, I'm going to isolate one looped section right here. Um, and so I'm going to put this back on. But this time I'm just going to try a different uh, preset. Um, of just, I like to start out with just master, master general. This is like a most basic sort of mastering uh, levels, and uh, just something to note here. You know, nothing is going to be as good as having something done uh, sent out to a mastering professional who really does much more uh, detailed work on mastering your track. So, this is just something that you can use if you. Uh, want a, a quick way to get sort of a lot of impact but I'm not a mastering expert so I'm just demonstrating this plugin because I like it I like the sound so here I play this and one thing that's kind of neat to do again with this is to this tab these two tabs is main and then crossover so I'm going to click on the crossover one, and it shows the way these uh, low and mid and high frequencies are crossing over each other. And let's isolate one of them, the bassy one. You probably can barely hear it, so I'm going to just turn up the volume slightly to emphasize this. So one thing I like to do is take this bassy frequency and isolate it so that until you can move it to the right a little bit so you can start to hear some of the upper um, frequencies coming into this bass range. Could even go this far. But let's keep it down around here. And then let's um, play out only this one plus this one. And make this wider, this mid range.
And also notice you can boost individual frequencies, so even if we are hearing all of them on... I've got this um, space designer as part of Logic Reverb. I've got it set to a drum plate right now, and not a lot of it. If I had it on a lot, it would sound kind of like this. It's not very subtle. Sometimes it can give a little more depth uh, in the sound. Cause I'd rather die believing you'll love me again than live knowing you never will. So the combination of a little bit, slight touch of that reverb with um, this uh, wonderful ML4000 is a real nice um, combination, just some of what can be done. And so, uh, just to recap here, if I mute both of these effects, this is sort of the before, unmastered version. And I'm going to pull this down to show the more mastered version with these both on. Yeah. 